the man you are looking at, his name was Thomas Fuller. And he was a slave in America, Virginia specifically, through 1724 to 1790. So he was born in 1710, and he lived all the way to 1790, which he was 80 years old, 79, 80 years old. So to say he was older than average man, even even a slave, you know, that makes it even more impressive that he lived that long. But the life expectancy was not that long, uh, you know, 200 plus years ago. But also, he was known for his brain power. He had a bit of smarts up there, and he didn't have a very high education. He had no American education. He was, he was like the human calculator, they called him. The Virginia calculator, I believe they called him. And I found this story very interesting, and I wanted to share it with you. And he was a slave, so he was exceptionally smart for his time. This was a time way before calculators. And just him being a slave makes it even more impressive because they didn't give them any... He didn't know how to read American or write American. Or in English, I should say. But he was smart for his time. If you asked him how to do numbers, he, he knew what he was doing. He literally they called him the Virginia Calculator for a reason. And that is an inspiring story to say the least. Despite being a slave and being the bottom of the barrel person, which I don't think he was, you know, but this was the 1700s, don't forget. Um, that makes it even more inspiring that me having my level of education, I have no excuse to make some, to not make anything of myself, you know? So he has kind of been an inspiration for me. So yeah, take this story with you, go research him. And by the way, I couldn't find exact birth and death dates, but I could find the year. 1710, he was born in Africa, West Africa, in a place called Benin, or Benin. I never learned how to say it, but it was, I, I read up on it. It said it was a West, Western Africa, kind of that area of Africa. So, he was taken in 1724, kidnapped. At 14 years old. So he was like a calculator with numbers. Keep this in mind that he got no American education. So his even if he did get any education, it was self-taught mostly. Because he only had up to 14 years of, up to a few years of real education. So he had a 14, you know, he's at the education level of a, barely a teenager. So this makes it even more impressive. And... This is a very inspiring story that even though he was looked down upon, he didn't let that get him down. So keep in mind his story that even if you are never going to be, work, you know, as low as him, yet he did very well. So keep in mind that you have a better hand most likely than him. And even if you don't, this story is more inspiring. But keep that in mind, that this guy was a slave. Like, no one cared. And he didn't let that get him down, which I can commend him for. So anyway, rest in peace, Thomas Fuller. And thank you for inspiring us.